Pinky Angels and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you this makeup look right here. It is a pink sparkly party look using the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette which I am obsessed with. It's such a beautiful eyeshadow palette and I just wanted to do a tutorial on this look because I did this in my Ted Baker collection video. This is the makeup that I was wearing and I really loved it and it matched my Ted Baker dress really nicely as well. So I thought I would recreate it and show you guys how I did it. If you want to see how I did this makeup then please do keep on watching. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy and I post beauty, fashion and lifestyle content which always involves lots and lots of pink and I really appreciate if you subscribe. It means so much to me and I'm so happy to welcome you as one of my pink angels. Also, if you haven't already, then please do follow me on Instagram. It's at alohaamy underscore and there's always lots and lots of pink content on there. So yeah, with all that being said, I really hope you enjoy this video and let's just get on with the makeup. So I just pop on some eyeshadow primer and blend that in with my ring finger and I make sure to take it right down into my inner corner and all the way kind of blending that out as well because I will be blending my eyeshadow out and then also up to the eyes. I also like to set my eyes so I take this kind of yellowy cream shade, take that shade and then just using a bigger brush apply that all over my lid. Okay so I always use the same transition brush and this is the one by Real Techniques and it is the Duo Fiber Eye Brush. I love these brushes, the shade that I'm using today which is called Fancy That and I'm just popping this on very lightly and I just look down at my mirror and just pop this on through the crease. I'm not a makeup artist or anything, I just really like makeup I'm sure there's makeup artists watching this thinking I'm doing this completely wrong but I just I just apply my makeup because I think it's really fun I like messing about and playing around with makeup and testing out different products so I'm not a professional but I just love it so I thought I would show you this look today so next I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker shade to pop through my crease. So I think I'm going to use this kind of burgundy shade down here called Oh That's Rich. And I'm using the Real Techniques, I think it's just called the crease brush. It's actually rubbed off, but I think it's called a crease brush. And I'm just taking this really, really lightly. It's the tiniest little amount and then tapping that off. And then I'm just going to be focusing that right into the center of my crease right in there. Is my crease colour done. Now I'm going in with this really beautiful colour here called Princess Cut. It's a beautiful pink shimmery colour and it's just lovely and I'm going to be spraying my brush. I'm just using a setting spray. This is a Wet n Wild natural finish setting spray. I bought this and it's actually a little bit too dewy finish for me. I need more of a matte setting spray so I just use this for my eyeshadows. So I just spritz a flat shader brush and then I'm just going to be popping on this colour. It's so pretty. It's got kind of gold flecks through it. I just love Too Faced eyeshadows. I think they're amazing. They're just so pigmented and such good quality. I'm just applying that pretty much from the centre just out to the inner corner and I'm just kind of drawing that over my eye. And then next I'm going to go in with the shade Highly Selective and I'm just going to pop that on the same flat brush and just tap this very lightly and I'm going to pop this on my outer corner here and that's just going to blend in with Princess Cut but just add a little bit more depth and definition. Now I'm going to spray a clean brush, or well clean-ish, um, and I'm going to be using the colour Clutch Your Pearls. So this looks just like a white colour, but actually it's a kind of iridescent 
pinky white colour when you wet the brush. It's really, really beautiful. And I'm just popping that on my inner corner. So because it's got that iridescent pink to it, it just blends in really nicely with Princess Cut and ties the whole look together. I really like this kind of... It's not a cut crease, this look, but I am being quite sharp with the brush. Using this flat shader brush, I'm just kind of carving it out quite neatly. And I'm blending that white shade into the middle shade, which was Princess Cut as well, and it's just kind of blending everything together. So now I think it's time for a little bit of glitter because this is Aloha Amy after all. We do need glitter in this channel. So I'm going to use the colour Diamond Glitterati. So this is a stunning pink glitter. I mean, it's just beautiful. And I'm just taking this on my ring finger and it's kind of like a glitter gel. I don't know if you can see it properly, but let's see if it'll focus. There we go. How cool is that? And I'm just going to be popping that over the centre of the lid, just very lightly, tapping that on. So now that my eyeshadow is completed, I'm going to be using some eyeliner. I'm using the Soap & Glory Super Cat Liner. This is one of my favourites. I've been using this for a long time. I just find that it works really, really well for me. The pen is nice and thin and it just works every time. So I will attempt to do this on camera, but we'll see. I need the mirror pretty close to my face because I actually do need glasses to like read things and look at things up close so obviously my eyeliner is pretty detailed and pretty up close so I'll try my best. So I start off by doing a line really close to my lash line. I'm also leaning on my knee to steady my elbow and I just kind of take it to the centre. I don't ever put eyeliner in the inner corner of my eye because my eye is really sensitive and as soon as I stick the eyeliner in there I'll go like that and it's just not worth it. So I just do that and then I look straight ahead at the mirror. Okay, so this isn't the best eyeliner ever, but it'll have to do. I'm now going to be applying my mascara. So I always curl my lashes using my rose gold lash curlers. These are really, really pretty. I'm pretty sure they're from Accessorize and I really like them. Okay, so I'm gonna let those wee bits of mascara dry first and then I'll fix that. But normally, if I was going out to a party or something, I would probably apply some eyelashes. But I don't really feel like it today. I feel like my mascara has worked pretty well and my eyelashes already look quite long. So I'm not going to bother with lashes today. But if I were to be like going out to a party, then I definitely would. But I forgot to mention the mascara that I'm using is the Natural Collection Waterproof Mascara. This is a really good mascara. I find that throughout the day, my mascara normally tends to transfer on to under my eyes and I look a bit like a panda and it's just not cute. But with this mascara, I don't find that happens because it's waterproof or whatever, I don't know. It just seems to work really well for me. So I highly recommend it and I think it's only like two pounds, three pounds maybe. So it's very good. I wonder how many calories I've burnt doing my eyeshadow. 19. <laughs> doing your makeup is clearly a workout. <laughs> So next up I'm going to be applying some blusher. I find that on a day to day basis I don't bother with blusher, I don't think I really need it but when I'm wearing this pink eyeshadow look I think it's nice to kind of tie in everything. I'm going so. to be using this e.l.f. blush palette and it doesn't have a shade, oh it does, it says it's light um, and I'm just going to be using this shade here. The mirror in this is massive, it's the entire thing so it's a really good mirror. I'm going to be using the Real Techniques contour brush. And I'm just tapping this really lightly because it is a very pigmented blush and popping that onto the apples of my cheeks. 
I already have some bronzer on just so you know I did my skin already because I pretty much did the same as I always do collection concealer bit of Revlon color stay foundation and Rimmel stay matte and the bronzer that I used was my NYX matte bronzer in the shade light I just think that adds a nice kind of pinky rosy tone to the look and now I'm going to go in with my favourite part which is my highlight and I'm obviously going to be using the Becca Opal highlight this is just the perfect highlight for my skin tone and then I just apply that to all the high points of my face my brow bone above I don't know why I don't like a lot of highlight on my nose I just think it looks a bit funny on me some people really really suit it but I just think it looks a bit weird so I don't do too much and then I always make sure to go back in with my foundation brush and blend my highlight my blush together I think that's really important just to make sure everything is nice and soft and nothing's too harsh. To finish off my eye makeup look, I need to balance things out. So it's very heavy on the top part of my eyes, so I need to bring something underneath. So I'm going to take a little brush that looks like this. It's just a kind of fluffy brush, which is slightly tapered. And I'm going to be taking the shade Highly Selective, and I'm just going to pop some of that under my eyes and just going to smudge that out. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of Oh That's Rich, again a really small amount because this one is super pigmented and I'm just popping that right on the outer part of the eye, like that. Then I'm going to pop a little bit of my opal highlight onto my inner corner, or my tear duct, sorry, pop it onto my tear duct. Then I'm going to pop on a little bit of mascara onto my lower lashes. I just kind of touch the tips of the eyelashes. I don't like to put mascara right from the root on my bottom lashes. I just think it makes me look a bit too much like a doll. I don't know why, I just think it looks a bit funny on me. So I don't love that. So I just do that. And then I think that's pretty much it other than the lips. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to be using three products. The first one is my lip liner from Jordana in the shade Baby Berry. You will have seen me use this many times, but it's such a beautiful lip liner, so I'm just going to pop some of that on. Popping on. Then I'm putting on some of this lipstick. This is from Bite Beauty, and it's in the shade glassy and it's such a beautiful lipstick and then for my favorite part lip gloss obviously my lips need to sparkle so I'm using the Fenty Beauty gloss in the color fussy this is such a beautiful lip gloss I'm obsessed with it it's so so pretty and it also tastes really good as well So there we go, that is the finished look, my pink sparkly party makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this because it really really does help me out and it also means so much to me that so many of you have subscribed. It makes me so so happy and I really love you all and appreciate you all so so much. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video, bye!